back on our performance clock, I'm at 7 o'clock. I'm on my right gravitational center. I need to move in this direction. If I lean this way to move this direction, I'm in trouble because this leg is jammed. And I need to do what's called the cross step. This is a very, very unfortunate decision. It is off balance, and it's not elegant, and it also is not liberating. It's not keeping the instrument alive, and it throws off your thought process. The key to movement is the weight shift. If I want to go that way, my body goes this way first, this leg is liberated. And we step a little bit upstage, and then we go. The other critical issue with movement on stage is it's always in multiples of three. Why? Simple. One, two, three, I'm open. Four, I'm closed. Three, I'm open. One, two, three, four, five, I'm open. Six, I'm closed. Awkward. The other key to movement is the tuck. One, two, plant on the odd number, tuck for the support, like a tripod. One, two, plant, tuck. One, two, three, four, open yourself up, five, tuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, odd number, tuck. And the tuck can be anything that stabilizes you. And I'm on this gravitational center. I'm going to reverse the chair now so that we all can work together. The audience is now down here, and you're all standing behind me. We're at 6 o'clock. Lean to the right. Liberate left leg. And one, two, three, plant, and stabilize. Tuck. Just simply reverse it. We're going from, from 5 o'clock back to 7. One, two, plant, and tuck. If you have smaller steps, you can actually fit in five steps. One, two, three, four, plant and tuck. I'm at seven o'clock. I'm going back to five. I'm at five o'clock. I'm going back to seven. One, two, three, four, plant and tuck. Another important move on stage is the stop and the start. Again, to go in that direction, I lean away and I come. But someone may say something while I'm moving, and they may say, stop. And so when they say stop, I actually have to find a way to get myself balanced, even though I haven't finished off my footwork. But we actually secretly finish off the footwork in a very accelerated and minute way. So I'm walking along, stop. I actually finished off the footwork. Walking along, stop finish off the footwork again. What you don't want to do on stage is walk along, stop! You're on a tightrope here. You're off balance. Plus, you cannot actually do anything because there's no scope of movement anymore because you have, have not gotten this organized. You've got to get this weight shift happening and then you're free to look back. Who's yelling stop at me? So, avoid the tightrope. Stop! You've got lots of time. And it can happen in anywhere in your footwork. Stop! You always have time to do that quick little adjustment. So keep the feet moving at all times. Having learned how to move from one place in the stage to another, here I go. Two. Third step. That means I am open and I tuck. I also will want to make adjustments here. When we're acting, our body movement moves, adjusts according to thought. So if I want to adjust here, there's a way to do it by just simply picking the heels up. Pick the heels up and rotate on the balls of the feet. So you can actually get a lot of scope in this movement by doing this, and it can look back. So that's one easy way, just this little pivot on the balls of the feet. Again, it's important that both the feet cooperate or you end up with just one foot going. This is not effective. It's not balanced. The other way to rotate when you're in place is simply a weight shift. And we've already talked about the weight shift as the key ingredient to all stage movement. 
I shift here, and I am open to look up. So it's a little bit like a little tiny inside pivot. And you can do it, you've seen actors do it depending on how extreme my position is and how far off the person I want to talk to. I actually have to do quite a few movements here sometimes to get around. But once you start doing them, they're very, very liquid and natural. So again, you have to be careful not to look like a Keystone Cop. But the whole essence of the Keystone Cop is weight shift. Same exercise. You're on stage with me. We're doing an acting drill. Stagecraft, 7 o'clock to 5. One, two, three, plant. I want to rotate. Pick up the heels. Rotate, turn away. Rotate, pick up the heels, rotate on the balls of the feet. And the other option, simply weight shift. Keep those feet moving. Mm -hmm.